YouTube, Sam Matt back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at three figures from the Mattel brand. We're taking a look at the DC Batman Classic TV series, Batman, Robin, and Batgirl 3-pack. Now this Batgirl looks to be the exact same one. If you went to Comic-Con, you got her a little earlier. There's the um, Batgirl, Batgirl you can get in the exclusive single-carded uh, version. But um, so if this is the exact same figure, I'm pretty much going to keep this in the the uh, packaging. It looks like the card in the background is exactly the same as well. But this is your chance also to get Robin because in the first time around he was available in a two pack where you get Batman and Robin climbing up on a uh, on the building, and that one was a little tough to get, and it is going for a lot you know higher price I think like on eBay and Amazon. So if, you know if you missed him out, this is your chance to get him. But there's also another way you can get Robin and Batman together. They re-released the Batmobile, the classic Batmobile, even though they were flooded in stores, and I think because of that reason they did what they did now to sell the Batmobiles, they put Batman and Robin in the vehicle. So if you buy the vehicle and you never got it the first time because you didn't want it, now you can get it with Batman and Robin together. Anyways, that was a mouthful. So we're taking a look at the three figures right here. The packaging is pretty nice. You got Holy Return from Oblivion Batman on the top right, Batman Classic uh, TV series, collector cards included. Um, the side, you know, has the whole na 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 na. The bat, the top has the bat signal. Uh, bottom just has some credits and whatnot. You look at the back. It's got some really cool artwork right there. So you have Batman and, and uh, Robin in the Batmobile. Same bat time, same bat channel featuring. It has all the villains at the bottom. There is a little bit of a read up there. So if you guys want to pause, feel free and do so right there. You can read the uh, description. But let's not waste any more time because this might be a little bit of a long review. Let's take a look at all three figures. All right, guys, so first up we're gonna look at is Batgirl. So here's a quick little 360 look. I just put batteries in this turntable and look how fast it's going. But um, yeah, so here's a quick little 360 look at Batgirl. Beautiful figure. There you go, guys. Now let's take a look at the next figure. Here's a quick little 360 look now at Robin Burt Ward. A really cool looking figure. Again, if you missed him out the first time, now's your chance to get him. There you go. Let's take a look at the final figure, which is Batman. I guess you guys are pretty used to this one. The Batman figure, I'm going over the review, I'm going to go over him really, really quick because we've already seen this figure a few times, but here is Batman. All right, guys, so these are, the figures don't really come with any accessories, but they all do come with, each of them do come with a card. So you can see this first one right here is Batgirl, which is a really nice card. You got the city in the background. You have Batman right here running towards you. This is really cool. I like this. And then you have um, Robin right there in the back. So really cool. All the figures, or the cards, I should say, do connect together. So you can see that right there, and it does make a great, a great display, but that's not it. If you turn this around, they have the city in the background and you get this really cool picture of the city backdrop right there in the back. So all these do connect. So that is very, very awesome. So other than accessories, that's pretty much all you get is the cards plus the bases. First figure we're gonna look at is Batman. So you got him right here. He does come with a base that, and you know has a slot for the card and it does read BAM. So you get this right there. It's always good to have a base and it does have a uh, peg on it. The actual figure, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go through this review very fast. The actual figure is pretty nice. It's nothing, you know, different than we've seen from all the other Batman figures. So I'll just scan through it really quick because, again, I am sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this Batman figure. You got the cloth cape right here, which is blue, pretty much see through. You got the utility belt, and you can kind of make out the logo, the bat um, symbol right there. You got the Bat logo right there on the chest. And as far as the head sculpt goes for Batman, you can see there's Adam West. You got the green eyes. You have the eyebrows and nose kind of outlined in. Very, very good. The lips look great and the eyes look really, really cool. You got the small cowl with the ears, or I should say the small ears on the cowl. So you got that right there. So it's your basic Batman classic figure from Mattel that we've gotten so many times. And then as far as the blue goes and the mask and the gloves, the underwear and the pants. It's got like a metallic glittery color to it. And then here's a shot of the back of the figure right there. As far as Batman's articulation goes, the head can rotate. Uh, kind of goes up and down. Arms go in and out, forward and back. Upper arm rotation, bend at the elbow, wrist can rotate. He's got rotation at the waist, I believe. Yeah, rotation at the waist. It's got a crunch right there, an ab crunch. Legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee. Mid leg rotation, foot can go up and down. This guy is very stiff. And that's about it for articulation. So there's Batman. 
Next up is Robin. So I don't even think I've ever reviewed my two pack of um, Batman and Robin. So this will be the first time we're taking a look at Robin. Uh, right here, we got the base that does read Wham. It's got the peg hole, of course. You gotta have these, man, for these figures. And right here is Robin, a really, really cool figure. I like how this one came out, even though it is, again, just a re-release of the first uh, figure that we've already gotten. So you can see, you can see the eye coloring there. He's got kind of like a, looks almost like a sad face going on. You got the mask. The hair is sculpted very nice. He's got the comb over, which is in right now. You got the outfit right here, the red shirt. And you have the little like um, tabs going across the chest. I don't even know. I don't know why I call them tabs. You got the R right there, the green short sleeves, which looks really good. And then you have the belt, his utility belt, and then the gloves. Very nice. And the thing about this figure that just kind of throws me off, if you look at the coloring on him, the, um, the arms and the legs don't match. The arms, I don't know if the light will pick it up, but the legs are darker. I don't know if that's supposed to mean he's wearing some kind of leggings or something, but <laughs> they are a little bit off. And I don't like how you can see like all the joints and everything. It does, I mean, even though this is a toy, it looks too toy, if that makes any sense. So you got the, uh, the green shorts. You got his Peter Pan shoes right there, which is pretty cool. Really like how those came out. Very cool, and then you got the back of the figure right here, and of course the yellow cape, which is see-through. So very, very nice. Now, as far as the articulation goes for Robin, arms go in and out, forward and back. Now, this guy's joints are a lot better than Batman. Bend at the elbow. You can see he's got like the little opening right there for the, uh, the glove. Rotation at the uh, wrist, upper arm rotation, waist rotation. The ab crunch on him kind of sucks, doesn't really do anything. Legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, upper leg rotation, foot can go up and down, and that's pretty much it for the uh, articulation for Robin. So this is another good figure from the set. Lastly guys, the figure you're gonna want for the set, and that is Batgirl, very, very cool figure. Um, she got the base right here, and it says sock. Got the peg right there, very cool. Again, this figure doesn't come with any accessories. And uh, you might have a little bit of trouble getting her to stand because of her heels. But looking at the figure herself, she's got green eyes, of course. All these figures tend to have green eyes, huh? You got the mask right there. Very nice. The sculpt on the uh, hair you can see coming out from the cowl. You have the ears right here. It's got that metallic light purple paint finish on the figure. But she has pretty much like that metallic glittery thing throughout the whole part of the outfit. But the head sculpt on her looks great. Love how the cowl came out and then the outfit right here. So she's got purple with like a lighter, like a different color kind of purple. You got the really cool bat logo right there. And the way the cape is, it's already kind of like flared out. So it's doing that on its own. There's no um, bendy wire in here, but that would have been a nice little touch if they did add that. You got the uh, gauntlets right there. She's got two closed fists on the figure. You have the utility belt. Hers is actually really nice. You can make out all the pouches and stuff on there. And then you got the back right here. She does have more pouches there. And then you got the lower legs here again. You can see, I hope the camera can pick it up, but you can see she does have that like glittery effect throughout the whole figure. And then you got the heels right here, which again might make the figure kind of hard to stand, but she does have peg holes. So you guys can actually get her to stand on the base. Now the cape is two different colors. So you see one side here is purple which is cool, love the way it looks. And then the other side here is yellow. So very, very nice. Now in the way of her articulation, the head can rotate. Uh, this kind of goes up and down. Arms go in and out, forward and back. Bend at the elbow. Mid, mid arm rotation, the wrist can also rotate. She's got upper torso uh, rotation, like a twist. So there's, no, so there's no waist articulation on her. Um, no ab crunch as well. Legs go in and out, forward and back, mid leg rotation, bend at the knee, foot can go up and down. So similar to all the other figures, just no rotation at the waist. And there you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the DC Mattel Batman Classic TV Series 3 pack, Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. Now I'm gonna tell you if you guys should get this set or not. Now if you already have Batman and Robin, but you need Batgirl, unfortunately, you're gonna have to get the Batgirl unless they release her single card in. And this set's gonna cost you a little over $50. 
If you're willing to spend that just to get back roll, then I probably suggest you pick up the uh, Comic Con exclusive back roll only because I think that's probably around the price it's going to be. I really don't know. Other than that, if you don't have Robin or have Batgirl, then definitely pick the set up. It's a great set, guys. You get the three cool cards in the background where you can rotate around, and you have each character on the card, or you can have the background that I have displayed right here, which looks really badass. Now, the figures don't come with any accessories, but it is a great set. So again, if you didn't pick any of these figures up first time around, now you can get all three. So let me know what you guys think about the figures. Drop a comment down below. Which one is your favorite one? Are you going to pick this up? Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. We'll see you guys later. Peace.